everyone and welcome back to my channel. So first of all I just want to say if you like this makeup look then it will be linked right here and it is a St. Patrick's Day um, inspired look. So click here if you want to go and see that. So today's video is going to be a haul video. Now I have done quite a bit of shopping recently and if you've seen my vlog, like my vlog I did a few weeks ago, um, you would have seen that I placed an order on e.l.f. and I'm still waiting for my order to come in. It's been nearly two weeks now, so it should come in sometime this week. But I've done other shopping that I wanted to share with you guys. It's all beauty related, no fashion or anything, it's just all strictly beauty. Um, but I wanted to share it with you and I thought if I combined it with the e.l.f. haul then that video would be really really long. So I decided I would just do it separately. The first place I went was Cara Pharmacy and I featured these, in, or I featured Cara in a couple of different haul videos throughout my time here on YouTube. Um, I love the store, it's amazing, it's really affordable, perfect if you're just starting out with makeup, they've got unbeatable prices and they sell a lot of um, good quality brands, they sell Essie, they sell um, like uh, the Aussie hair care and things like that. So I went in there with my boyfriend a few weeks ago and I picked up um, five things. Well actually my boyfriend bought me these. So I went in because I needed a new foundation and I needed a new powder. I decided to get the W7 High Definition Foundation. And I actually got two of these because they had no testers and I wasn't sure what shade I would be. So I got the colour Buff, which is this one, and I also got Sandy Beige, I think it was. And I gave that to my sister because it turned out it wasn't my tone. Um, this one's more yellow undertones, whereas the other one was more pink undertones, and I do have yellow undertones. So this one matches me really, really well. It reminds me of the Revlon Colour Stay um, in the shade buff but it's the same kind of consistency as the L'Oreal Trumi Magique or Lumi Magique foundation so that's just what it looks like and these were only three euro really really affordable and they're really good quality plus it's like a glass bottle so you think they'd be a little more expensive but I really really like this and I did do a first impressions on this that will be linked down below to see how I like it and things so like I said, I ran out of powder and the only powder they had was the Rimmel um, Match Perfection. Um, they did have the Rimmel Stay Matte but I didn't want to repurchase it. Um, I do love it but I wanted to try something different and I really wanted to try the Essence Matte Loose Powder. I don't know what it's called but they didn't have it in stock and I was really annoyed so I just picked up this one. It just looks like this. It's in the colour Ivory, which is the lightest colour they do, and it just has a little mirror. But I don't like it, really. It's not very pigmented or anything, but it it did the job while I needed a new powder. I think this was around €7, Euro maybe. Then the last two things I got were two Essie nail polishes. And the reason I got these, normally I wouldn't buy Essie because it is a little pricey. It's around €10. Euro. And this, these two nail polishes were like in the little sale bin and it was four euro so I was like oh four euro I'll get the two of these so this one was actually four euro it doesn't have a name on it but I think it's fear or dare or fear or fear or desire or something like that and it's just this really gorgeous bright orange colour perfect for this time of year spring summer and I will be rocking this on my toes as well and then the other one I got was Jamaica Me Crazy. Love the name, it is so cute. But it's this like really gorgeous magenta colour. But this was actually full price. Um, I think what happened was someone was going to buy this and then decided they didn't want it and put it in the sale bin. And I picked it up thinking it was only €4. Euro. So it was actually full price but I still got it anyway. Because I really like it. I actually have my nails right now but it chipped really bad. So I have to take that off, please excuse it. So then I went into camera another time, um, like two days ago, and I got this huge bag of stuff. Um, um, Cara do have an online website, so I will link that down below. I think they ship internationally, I'm not entirely sure. 
but the first thing I got was the W7 Honolulu bronzer and I wanted to try this because I heard it's a dupe for the Benefit Hula bronzer and it's just in the same kind of box it comes with a little sponge and then this is what it looks like now I haven't used this yet but I'm really really excited to try it two lipsticks from W7 sorry if you can hear my dog's barking um, because I really wanted these colours I know I have similar colours to these but I had never tried the Wet n Wild or the W7 lipsticks before so I thought I might as well try them these were only $1.99 each and they're the Go West lipsticks they just look like this the packaging is super cute the first one I got was in the colour Pink Candy and these are matte lipsticks looks like it is a beautiful like, Barbie pink and if you've watched my videos for a while you know that I love um, Pink Blush by Rimmel but I'm running out so I thought this would be a good alternative to try out and then the next one I got was in the colour Fluorescent Pink and that's just what the colour is and that's it there. I do have similar colours to this but I just really really wanted to try the brand and these were the only two lipsticks that really appealed to me so I got them. The last three makeup items I got were from Essence. I love Essence, it's an amazing brand but it's actually leave in Ireland so I wanted to try out some products before it left and see how I liked them in case I wanted to stock up. So the first thing I got was a Essence lip liner and I do have one of these already in, um, it's in a deep red colour and I love it so I got this nude one in the colour in the nude and it just looks like this, I'll swatch it. That's just what it looks like there. So pretty. Um, I really, really like this. I got from Essence was a long lasting eye pencil. And I used to love the black eyeliners that Essence did. And this is in the colour 15 Bling Bling. I've wanted like a gold eyeliner for a while now. And I just can't seem to find one. This is one of the retractable ones. So I liked this one. It's like a bronzy gold. I really, really liked it. So I thought I'd give it a go from Essence I got was a highlight. A highlighter because I don't own any highlighters. And I saw this came out with the new spring collection that Essence have. It's the Bloom Me Up collection. And this is the shimmering powder in Rose It Up. And it is just so pretty. The packaging is gorgeous. And then that's just what it looks like. So super pretty. And yeah, that's just what it looks like. I got from Cara were the Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, I did get the Hask Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner from Penny's a while back and I loved it. It made my hair feel amazing. So I thought I'd try this brand because I've seen it in a, in a couple of different shops. And it was only $1.25 for the shampoo and $1.25 for the conditioner. And they did. And it's the Essence All About Matte um, Loose Powder. It's just a white loose powder. And my sister actually has this. And I tried hers to set my Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC under my eyes. It did not budge all day. I, I was so amazed by this stuff. It's like 5 euro or 4 something. And it's amazing. I love it. So I had to pick one up. So that is everything that I have bought in the last couple of weeks. I hope you all enjoy this haul and I will be still be doing an elf haul so keep an eye out for that and I'll see you guys in my next video.